You're too comfortable. I'm making it easy for you. What are we doing? Because I'm not getting any younger. Because I'm not getting any younger. Because I'm not getting any younger. For close to two decades, Jim Jones and Chrissy Lampkin have been booed up. Just like any relationship, they've had their share of ups and downs. However, no matter what, they've always found their way back to each other. At one point, they proposed to each other. When Chrissy presented Jim with a ring on an episode of Love & Hip Hop New York, he didn't enthusiastically say yes, but he accepted the ring. And this opened a whole new chapter in their relationship. Years later, they still haven't jumped the broom. And of course, everyone wants to know why. Although marriage is beautiful, do they really need to legalize things? Before we jump into other people's business, be sure to head on over to rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of goodies, including our brand new chicken and waffles popcorn. Jim and Chrissy are no ordinary couple, and they tend to do things their own way. Since they're non-traditional, why should they even bother with something as institutionalized as marriage? What would marriage change at this point? Chrissy actually brought this up during an episode of Love & Hip Hop New York. She said, I know people that get married and then divorced in a year. They get it annulled in six months. We're fine the way we are. With so many people just excited at the idea of getting married, a lot of times they gloss over the fact that marriage is, in fact, a lot of work. In some cases, it can be counterproductive and undo once solid relationships. During a 2020 episode of Love & Hip Hop New York, she said marriage would put extra pressure on their relationship and explained that she didn't, quote, want to put those types of demands on themselves anymore. In other words, this is the classic case of, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just like when couples know that they're ready for marriage, some folks know when they're not. And this has been the case for Chrissy and Jim. On an episode of Love & Hip Hop New York, Chrissy said that after she popped the question, neither one of them was ready to walk down the aisle. When Jim proposed on his own during season two, she later admitted that after the proposal, she wasn't ready. Despite all the reservations and cold feet, they remained together. She described their relationship as a cozy bond that no one can tear apart. She added that even if they never end up getting married, so be it, because marriage doesn't complete them. From all the hot, stankin' mess we've dived into over the years, most people realize that entertainers aren't always the most faithful, and Chrissy and Jim have dealt with this challenging aspect of the entertainment world. On Marriage Boot Camp, she passionately discussed how she got sick of dealing with Jim coming in at all hours of the morning and night, claiming to be working on music. She pointed out that despite him being in the studio all the time, he hadn't actually produced any new music in years. Her solution was to pack up and move to Miami. Eventually, they worked things out and relocated to Florida together. For years, Chrissy and Jim's mom, Mama Jones, have had a somewhat contentious relationship. It's evolved into a she said, she said situation, where one side blames the other for their poor relationship. In 2020, Mama Jones told Reality Check that they basically had no relationship, and she was perfectly fine with that. Many people think the real issue is that Jim is a mama's boy, and his relationship with his mom has also raised several eyebrows. My mom taught me how to kiss when I was younger. <laughs> she taught me how to tongue kiss when I was not younger. Like, like, what's the instructions? It wasn't no instructions. She showed me with her mouth. Like, she... She kissed you? It's my mother. He later claimed it was a joke. Perhaps Mama Jones has a problem with Chrissy because she doesn't think anyone is good enough for her baby boy. Mama Jones has also gone on the record to say she doesn't see the couple getting married anytime soon because they're not ready to take that step. While Mama Jones is probably happy they haven't tied the knot, there are still people who don't like the idea that Jim and Chrissy are still unmarried after all this time. It's the usual, he's wasting her what time. Are they waiting for? He's wasting They're not her getting time. any younger. What are they They're waiting not getting for? Any what are younger? they waiting for? You know, just the typical talk. But fortunately, Chrissy and Jim ain't got time for the haters. In 2020, Chrissy posted a throwback on her Instagram of them up in the club and captioned it with, All I need in this life of sin is me and my boyfriend. It works for me. Do you plan on well, walking down the aisle? To be honest with you, it's not a priority anymore. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Our relationship is in a good place. Oh. I thought that that was like the natural progression. Yeah. But it's not for everybody. Okay. So we're good right now. 
She expressed this same sentiment to him during a November 2022 episode of Love & Hip Hop. Chrissy can be seen telling him she's not interested in getting hitched anymore. She explained that Jim wants her to be his everything, his cook, lover, and confidant, but in return, he's cold, mean, and distant. Jim admitted he's not always the best partner. While he acknowledged that he puts her through a lot, he explained that it's because he's focused on taking care of business, which means putting in the long hours to make money and support his family. By the little nuggets that Chrissy dropped, it doesn't sound like a trip down the aisle will solve any of their problems. It also seems to suggest that Chrissy might not view Jim as hubby material. Regardless of what family, fans, naysayers, or anybody else has to say, Chrissy and Jim keep on marching to the beat of their own drum. One thing people can't deny is that they're in it for the long haul. Alexa, play Keith Sweat's Make It Last Forever. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to join us on TikTok for more content, like daily news updates and mini documentaries. And as always, thanks for watching RRG.